My name is Ian Danforth, and I'm a software engineer and roboticist. I'm the founder of Embodied AI and the creator of The Fen. I've written a story uh, about a group of creatures, alien creatures, who live on another planet uh, that we've made contact with. And at thefen.com, you'll be able to read an entire story introducing these wonderful furry alien creatures. And at Maker Fair, you'll be able to see the robotic embodiment. I've taken a lot of uh, readily available components um, and put them together in a novel way and they will all be dressed up in, the, uh, in an outer shell that will be the character of the fen. Most of the logic is actually going to be performed using the front-facing camera um, on the Nexus 4 and all of the computation that is going to be done uh, in the cloud, um, which is pretty different from most how robots do it. It's also got a um, number of other sensors in the phone. It's got accelerometer, gyroscope, etc. And um, it'll be using interesting waypoints, you know, finding people in the crowd, finding their faces, going up to them, asking them for um, the ball in the storyline. It's called a jerly fruit. Um, they'll throw the ball, it'll find the ball in its little playpen, go get it and bring it back to them. Um, as sort of an initial demonstration of the possibilities of, of the platform. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to integrate the two other missing pieces that you don't see here. One is the touch-sensitive skin and having LEDs run down the back of this creature. And together they'll give you a great experience where you can actually pet this guy and have lights flow along with your hand and have him um, react like a real animal should, where if you press him lightly, he likes that. If you press him hard, you know, he runs away and he, he doesn't like you anymore. Um, and I think that's going to be key to the experience of treating this not as a robot, not as a toy, but as a pet, as a com companion, somebody that you can bring into your life and your kids can love and play with. This is the prototype of R Skin, R for robot, um, a project I worked on with uh, Hannah Perner Wilson out of MIT. And it's an e textile um, multi touch sensor. It stretches and bends and moves along with um, the robot arm. And this is something that a lot of robots are missing because it's hard to deal with joints and it's hard to get the kind of interesting proprioceptive information um, that we get from our skin. You know, where is my arm? Part of that comes from the stretch of our skin and robots haven't had that. I think that many more people should learn how to sew because um, it's, it's great to be able to integrate soft, stretchy fabric um, with the normal hard rigidity of robotics. And I think that's one thing that a lot of roboticists have missed out on is that they're good with um, circuit diagrams and you know, soldering, but they're not good with a sewing machine. It's massively opened a world of possibilities that I didn't have before. This is an exploration of a multi-touch sensor based along the same lines um, where you can get you know, the, the darker greens or where I'm pressing pretty hard. Um, you know, I can touch at one point, I can touch at multiple points, and it's really, really simple. Uh, it's, it's, you know, wire wrap, fabric, blue tape, an Arduino Uno, and that's it and you get this wonderful, incredibly cheap multi-touch pad. So when I started out at Numenta, I was writing code and uh, eventually I ended up transitioning to project management. And during that transition, uh, I wanted to remind all the engineers every day that you know, you're building big data and artificial intelligence in the cloud. Please, please don't build Skynet. You know, I want them to interact with kids so that you know, kids can teach them how to be nice and kind from the start. You know, I don't want people in the military to be the only people who are trying to teach robots how to do things. I want kids to teach them how to fetch. I want kids to teach them how to sit in your lap and you know, parents to teach their kids to treat robots well. Um, and I think if you start with a, a good touching story and you know, the, a, a childlike attitude, you're much less likely to build something dangerous and much more likely to build something that is beneficial for humanity.